Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'd like to show you how I make a roasted fresh ham. So we like buying meat directly from the farms that raise them and we recently got a whole pork, a whole pig, and a lot of the options are kind of limited when you're going to looking for naturally cured hams and bacon and things like that. And the meat cutting place that we got ours processed at, the only option that they would do for curing a ham involved nitrates and nitrites and things that we usually try to avoid. So I just had them give me the bacon and the ham and everything just fresh. They didn't do anything to it, so it's just the cut of meat. And I figured out that roasting it this way is actually actually really easy and really tasty. It comes out tasting just like ham that you're used to having that's been cured and, and all of that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. The biggest thing is just planning ahead. You wanna make sure that the ham is thawed all the way. I usually let it thaw for several days in the refrigerator and then put it in a bowl of cold water for the morning before I plan to make it. And then around lunchtime is a good time to start it in the oven to have it ready for dinner time. It takes about five hours total cook time for about an eight to 10 pound fresh ham. And the ham that I'm using has a bone in it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to just use several different spices and salt to season the ham. And then I'm going to stick it in my oven. I have my oven already preheated at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. The first thing that I'm going to add is half a teaspoon of salt using my Baja Gold mineral salt here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on the ham. I'm actually going to add a little bit more just because I feel like I could use just a little more salt, just a touch. But half a teaspoon is a good place to start and then you can always increase if you feel like you want to. Next, I'm going to sprinkle on one teaspoon of cinnamon. I need to refill my spice jars. So that's why I have these bulk bags from Azure out. Next, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of ground allspice. If some of the salt and seasonings and everything fall down into the rest of the pan, I'm not too worried because later on in the process, we're gonna be basting this with the stuff that's down there so it'll get used. And next I'm going to do half a teaspoon of ground cloves with all of these spices. When it's roasting in the oven, it makes the house smell so good. And then half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Now I'm going to go cover the pan with the lid that comes with this roasting pan. And I'm gonna put this in the oven for three and a half hours. And then when that time is up, I'm gonna come back and show you the next steps. After about three and a half to four hours in the oven, it's time to take the ham out. And I have half a cup of maple syrup here. If you're wanting to do this recipe on gaps, then I recommend using honey instead. But if you are not on gaps and you have the option, maple syrup really works nicely. So I'm just going to drizzle over the ham, trying to get pretty even coating. Then after I've poured the maple syrup on, I'm gonna put it back in the oven without a lid for about another hour to an hour and 15 minutes, maybe up to an hour and a half. And then about every 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to go in and baste it with the drippings that are down there. So I'm gonna go put that in the oven and do that. And then what we're looking for at the end of that cooking time is for the internal temperature to reach 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Once I have finished the rest of the cooking time without a lid for another hour to an hour and a half basting about every 15 minutes, then it's done. You just wanna take it out of the oven, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then it's ready to slice and serve. I hope that 
you give this recipe a try. Let me know in the comments below what other videos that you'd like me to do. Check out that description box for links to free ebooks and lots of other goodies, as well as some of my favorite places to buy my grocery items and other things that we love. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else that you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.